Take, for example, the results from the pilot project on Mountain EBA in Peru, funded by the aforementioned Federal Ministry and Climate Initiative. At an altitude of around 4,350 metres, the consequences of climate change are already evident in Peru. Melting glaciers, reduced snow and rainfall, dried out mineral springs and lower river levels than before. In order to secure the water supply and conserve pasture land for livestock breeding, the communities had to get involved in managing the native grasslands. In the case of Peru, eh, considerando que es un país altamente vulnerable, eh, todos los enfoques son necesarios para reducir la vulnerabilidad de las poblaciones, ecosistemas y también los medios de vida que tenemos en las diferentes regiones. La adaptación basada en ecosistemas es un, un enfoque más de adaptación. Coastal and marine ecosystems are highly vulnerable to climate change. Countries such as Vietnam, the Philippines, Mexico and Colombia are increasingly affected by storms, sea level rises and floods. EBA measures, including reforested mangroves and rehabilitated coral reefs, provide effective protection against these climate change impacts. The solutions also generate many additional benefits, such as carbon sequestration and habitats for various fish species. Además de la restauración de arrecifes de coral en la reserva de la biosfera de Ciancan, también hemos trabajado con la restauración de, de manglar. Eh, eso te ayuda a que se reduzca la sedimentación en, en, los, en los arrecifes y por ende fortaleces más el sistema. En las Filipinas, un ridge to reef approach is being implemented, where river basins and coastal areas are managed as a closely interlinked system. A crucial element involved combining technical measures such as the planting of natural tree species and agroforestry systems with community education and organizational development measures. We started with scoping or collecting evidences from the ground and it was quite interesting because people were not aware that they were doing already uh, EBA, but actually these are uh, ecosystem-based solutions. Forests, rivers, wetlands, deserts, agriculture and urban ecosystems are also at risk from climate change. Their vulnerability can be reduced by using EBA solutions. Having a limited resources for a, I can say, less developed country, ecosystem-based adaptation is one of the cost-effective options for adaptation for the people. So it means that we can have reached the same output and using less cost and have more money we can put into other investments. EBA summarizes many aspects in environmental policy that can manage to reduce risk and increase the sustainability of investments in Peru. I, I believe it's a great way to find innovative solutions to common and well-known problems. We are trying to mainstreaming in different sectors, not only on the environmental sector, but on the agricultural sector, sanitation, energy.